on your leadership is not working is you're not speaking enough you can't lead by being quiet it's a word of wisdom and I, I, I think it's a, a timely word of wisdom sort of generic it's not something it's not like a good thing in a book it's a word it's not a teaching your leadership has been curtailed by your quietness the more you've kept quiet, the more you have failed to lead. And God is telling you to start speaking now. To start speaking out. Let your voice be heard. Speak to the yes. people you're leading. Yes. Cast vision. Yes. Speak against things that compromise the people you're leading. Protect them. God has called you. It's Adam who named the animals. He had to speak. When you're quiet, you can't lead. God is speaking to someone, someone, someone. This is a very serious thing. It sounds like a very normal, natural thing. But your quietness is killing the future of thousands of people. Because you are called to lead many people. But you're leading few people and you're quiet and you're giving your personality as the excuse. You're saying, I'm a quiet person. God is asking you to keep, to speak up, to shout, to, to speak. Don't be quiet. Amen. Amen. God gave the word, great the company of those who who received it, who proclaimed it. The Bible says who proclaimed it. To proclaim is to speak up. God is the one who gives the word, but you speak. Amen. And you'll be a great company when you start speaking. Amen. Speaking in online, in person, in articles, in blogs, in meetings. Start speaking now. Someone, this thing that I'm talking to, I see your window narrowing down very fast. If you don't start speaking now, stop holding God at ransom. Mm -hmm. He will replace you. If you don't start speaking now. Because God is desperate to help people. And he has chosen you and you're quiet. Your quietness is killing people. So start speaking now. Amen. Amen. So whoever that one is yours, take it seriously. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for what you've done here tonight. Salvations, healings. I rebuke every sickness masquerading in your body, in your mind. I rebuke poverty masquerading in your business, in your household. I curse it to its root. You were not created to be poor. In the name of Jesus, I speak abundance yes. into your household. Abundance. You shall be known as the one with money in your oh, family. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You sh uh, let me repeat now. 
you shall be known as in your one. family yes. as the one with the money. Yes. It shall be true of you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke sickness of every kind out of your body. I speak peace and joy into your household. Amen. May your house be a house of good news. Amen. May your house be a house out of which there is always good news flowing Amen. to the rest of your world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for unions, marriages. Thank you for redemption. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you for a lifting. There is a lifting. There is a lifting. Where you've looked down on yourself, where you've had self-pity, as a person, as a location, as a people, as a group, as an MC, oh, there is a lifting. That's no longer your identity. You're a child of God. Child of the Most High God. All things are working for you. All things are working together for you. For you. Even that setback that came this week that is ending. Whatever it was, someone here you received a specific setback. Ah! God is turning it out for good. Oh, I've just been reminded about one of my friends, sisters in the Lord. She was supposed to go to Europe and her visa was delayed and she was so agonized. And I told her on Sunday, it's going to turn out for good. Today she sent me a message saying, I had applied for a visa for seven days. My passport was delayed and I got one for two years. Oh, yes. What, that setback that has happened this week or last week, the last 14 days, you're going to have a turnaround. A turnaround for good. So we bless you, Lord. Someone, I see your marriage going stronger. Amen. Oh yes, where there's been strife. I see that there's been a bit of friction. I see there's been a bit of friction. But I see oil being poured into Amen. that gap. Oh yes. Instead of friction, you shall have grace. G receive grace into your marriage. Receive grace into your marriage, somebody. The end of friction tonight is the end of friction. Oh, thank you, Lord. I bless you. I'm seeing dresses. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful dresses. Oh, yes. Someone here, you are about. Look, I. Me, I'm into church planting. I swear. So no, don't tell me what me are to make people happy. If you ask me, I would want to see churches. That's what I want to prophesy. But I don't say what I want. I see what I see. And right now I'm seeing dresses. In fact, I'm seeing dresses with like cream and green designs and patterns. Dresses. Someone here, you are about to get a lot of new clothes and look here it's not for show no i am sure god just wants to prove a point to you yeah. because some of you you've doubted god so long so he's going to prove a point to you some of you are even wondering why did i come all the way to matuga i could have watched this online yeah some of you are wondering the message was not even like about what worth coming to Matuka for. No, let me tell you, God is going to sh do something to shut your mouth permanently. Yeah, like in a good way. No, no. He's going to prove you wrong. God is going to prove you wrong. God is going to prove you wrong that you came all this way for something small. He's going to do a couple of things to prove to you 
Wow. Yeah. That is the one who caused you to drive all this way. Wherever you came from. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for dresses. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. Maybe God is dressing you. God is dressing you. In fact, someone else, God is covering your shame. Yes. You've been fearing shame. You've been fearing shame. God is saying, I'm the one who covers you. Don't be like Adam and Eve who are trying to clothe themselves in the midst of shame. God will clothe you perfectly. You will not be put to shame. Instead of shame, you will see glory. glory. You will see glory. Oh yes, thank you Lord. If I were you, I would be praying in the spirit right now. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. I sense a, an increase in the presence of God, in the manifestation of the presence of God in your life. Even now, focus on the Holy Spirit. Don't be distracted by things people want. Just take this moment with it. I see increased presence. I see an increase in the aura, aura of God around you. Yes. In the coming days, you walk into a room and it will be evident there's something different about you from tonight. This is happening for people in the room right now. People in the room right now. God is taking something and putting it on you. Something beautiful. Something of His Spirit. You will be shocked. Some of you. Here is, here is how you will know some of you. People have been cursing when you are around. From, from, from now. You're going to be surprised that people who have been using swear words around you are going to stop. That's going to be the evidence. You're going to carry an aura and people will sense God when you walk into a room. People will sense God. They will not be able to use certain words they've used around you before. Yes. Here is something else that's going to happen for some of you. People will make room for you. They will just make room. Yeah, you'll just realize without. Yeah. You've been squeezing yourself into spaces. You're not going to do need to do that anymore. Space will be made for you. Amen. Yeah. And God just, my sense is God just wants to prove a point to some people here that He's real. Some of you, maybe you've lost a sense of the reality of who God is. And it's going to prove a point to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your children. Thank you that they are carriers of your presence. Thank you that in their presence, sicknesses shall be healed. In their presence, abundance shall be manifested. In their presence, peace. Some of you, it's going to be peace. It's going to be ah. peace. There are people you've not been having good sleep. Tonight, you will see. You will wake up in the morning super peaceful, having slept the whole night. You will know it is the Lord. It is the Lord. He's giving angels charge over you to help you. To help you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no physical harm shall be inflicted on your body. No knife, no bar. Oh yeah, I, I refuse any, any force against your person. Zero. No one who attacks you physically will ever walk scot free. Something terrible will happen to them in a very short time if they ever succeed. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Yes. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you're giving strength to bodies. Renewing our strength. Renewing our strength. Renewal. More oxygen flow into those cells. Into your muscles. Someone you've been feeling perpetually tired. Tired. Tired in the morning. Moreover. Oh yeah, you're going to see a difference from tomorrow. You're going to have strength in your body. Strength in your body. Oh yes. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your kindness. I see a stream of pure water. I see a stream of pure water flowing out of, as if out of a bottle of pure water. Pure water. I sense a washing of the soul. Someone you've been emotionally tired or scared or just disappointed by many things. I see God washing over you. Washing over you. Oh, yes, washing over you. Yes. Oh, yeah. You shall be a delightful land. A delightful field. I see delight. Oh, yeah. You had lost your ability to smile. God is bringing that back to you. Delight, delight, delight. I'm seeing the word delight. I see that water flowing and causing dead things to come back to life. Oh, yeah. Brown becoming green. Brown becoming green. And delight. Lots of joy. Lots of joy. Yes, even in your relationships. Even in your marriage. Even in your relationship with your children, someone. I see God reinstalling joy. Joy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see a laptop. A laptop. A computer. I don't know what that means for someone here. Maybe you've been looking for a laptop. Or you have a spoiled laptop. Oh, yeah. I, I feel led to give you this testimony because some of you doubt. My sister lost her phone in Mukono during the Mukono gathering. That's where her phone was stolen from. And she texted me distressed. I told her it is well. I, I told her God is going to answer you speedily. Do you know after a couple of days her phone was picked from a flower pot in Naria and the person who picked it someone else was there who saw it and could recognize that this is so and so's phone. So when they checked they saw emails for her and they just said this is, this is Sarah's phone. Mukono stolen, recovered in Naria. In a flower Look, you, 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 you cannot forge that stuff. Nah. Yeah. You can talk to her, you can ask her yourself. She'll tell you. Wow. I serve a God who recovers Come stolen on. items. Jesus. Now, may you recover your stolen item in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yes. That, you know the overwhelming sense I keep getting is that people are doubting. It's not a good sense. Yeah. Do not doubt. Don't doubt. Do not doubt God. Do not doubt God. Do not test God. Do not test God. Believe Him. Let him bless your socks off. But for those who believe, your life will never be the same. Amen. You will never be the same. And you will see it. You will see it.
laptops. I was talking about laptops. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's technology. Something beautiful. Some sort of advancement. Amen. Some sort of change. Maybe your company is going to to get an upgrade in tech. A tech upgrade. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a good thing. Yeah. I see that it is a good thing. Yes. Yeah. Maybe someone you've been looking for a laptop and God is going to give it to you. Yeah. The other day I was talking about camera in, in MC Life and I got like three testimonies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Including someone who received a camera because they were looking for a camera for that kind of business or something. So don't, don't, yeah. Thank if your life is not supernatural, it is superficial. Mine is supernatural. And yours is supernatural. So I command supernatural occurrences. Supernatural your car shall receive supernatural repair. And you will not even know it, it got spoiled. Yes. Supernatural appliances in your house working. Supernatural refilling of gas canisters, deodorants, sprays. Even supernatural ceiling of cracked screens. Oh, yes. Yeah. Cracked screen becoming uncracked. Yeah. Fuel in your car, supernatural. Thank you, Jesus. in your life and around you. May you enter the gate, the door of the supernatural. Supernatural dreams and visions and occurrences and manifestations of angels Oh yeah. Even food in your fridge that you've not put there. <laughs> Look, God increased bread times 10,000. He can take that little stuff in your fridge and fill your fridge. All of this is not to play around with God. All of this you shall know that you are a servant of God. He will show you. He will show you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the flesh of the Holy Spirit be with us all. And forever. Amen. Amen.